This is Shred, and today we're going to destroy the universe with chords. But how, you might ask? <laughs> with nuclear weapons. <laughs> Using the dissonant intervals found in the music of Opeth and Mastodon, we'll conduct a study to see which chords cause ultimate cringing dissonance. We're also going to check out Richard Wagner's universe-melting Tristan chord. The full tabs and my compositional notes will be below on Patreon. That's where you sell your soul to me in exchange for unlimited musical power. So grab your axe and let's get to it. <laughs> The first catastrophic chord we'll examine is from the Swedish band Opeth. Now, lead songwriter Michael Ackerfelt has a taste for dissonance. <laughs> He uses the concept of suspension and resolution, or dissonance followed by consonants. D minor 6 is the dissonance, D minor is the resolution, and then later in the song he goes D augmented, that's the dissonance, to D major. There's the consonance and resolution. Now let's see this chord sequence with a little orchestration. Not quite enough to explode the universe, but maybe if we add some guitars. Better call him back. Don't ever ignore my phone call, Shred. It won't happen again, Satan. Now, Shred, how's your new video coming? Well, I'm actually having a hard time finding chords that will destroy the universe. <laughs> I knew you were going to f*** this up. <sighs> Listen, Shred, I want you to try using Wagner's Tristan chord. What's the Tristan chord, Dark Lord? It's one of the most evil chords in existence. <laughs> Got an evil tritone built on the note F. Of course, F stands for f Hmm, I like the sound of that. Let me give it a try. In Mastodon's track, The Hunter, we hear a deliciously dissonant D minor major 9 chord. Now let's put a little orchestration behind this chord. I can feel the universe starting to give way. Now to construct this evil chord, we're going to start with a D minor, D, F, and A. Then we add a C sharp, or the major 7th, and the 9th E. Put them all together. Eleven out of ten, evil. Shout out to the contrabass clarinet for sounding ultra evil. Now these are just a few examples of how you can achieve a dissonant effect in your music. It's important to keep in mind this dissonance and consonance relationship. If you go all dissonance all the time, your music's going to sound like shit and nobody will want to hear it. But if you just do all consonants, your music's going to end up sounding too sweet and people will lose interest. So try to find a happy medium for what works in your own style. Until next time, shred till you're dead.